Hello and welcome to this episode of The Monday Show. I'm your host, Pup Shepard. Today on The Monday Show, we're going to talk about how to take better pictures with a cell phone camera. So what I have here is the Pixel 2 XL, uh, but any, any smartphone that you can get an app with manual control is better. So what we can see that we have here is uh, it's on all auto at the moment. Now it's currently set to change the Evo, EV. This is basically your brightness and your darkness. Uh, but it kind of applies it to the whole image. I wouldn't recommend generally messing with this as it's pretty much not needed uh, and outside of a few uh, circumstances. Uh, one of the more uh, important settings is the ISO. And this is basically like your gain control right? in like how audio you have gain. It's essentially the sensitivity to light. Every phone, every camera has a sweet spot where the dynamic range is equal on both sides up or down depending on what number you set so uh, I still haven't found the sweet spot for the pixel 2 but one of these ISOs will let you see the most amount of dark and the most amount of light at the same time and so just by setting it to the lowest doesn't necessarily mean uh, that you'll have the best picture quality uh, in terms of being able to see the sky and uh, the darkest dark at the same time but it is certainly something to try and um, try to obtain um, as w as the good image you want will have um, both light and dark but right now in order to expose for the Sky, which is actually pretty cloudy you do have to get kind of low uh, well kind of your shutter speed has to be a bit high but that's another area the shutter speed and every app will look different uh, in manual control but essentially your shutter speed is how quickly the image is taken now you might be familiar with shutter speed when if you've ever seen videos of high uh, frame rate cameras you know like the slow-mo guys where they can uh, take a frame very quickly in a very small amount of time and the next one and the next one um, capturing your image um, in greater detail uh, but, so the first thing uh, you may notice is it's a balancing act see if we make the if we set it to the uh, fastest the shutter speed can go um, and then we adjust the ISO. You see, we can kind of get a result here. But you see, in order to make it something that we can see, it starts introducing a lot of noise. So even if we put on the fastest shutter speed with the highest ISO, you have a lot of grain in this image. And I'll show you that um, somewhere on the screen. But if we lower the ISO something like 200 <clears throat> and then we increase the shutter speed or decrease I should say as you can see we can get a less noise and a more crisp image say about right here now a general rule of thumb is to try and use the smallest, uh, the lowest ISO, um, well, and then adjusting your uh, your uh, shutter speed to uh, try to get a better image. Anything above, or uh, I, I wouldn't go slower than like maybe thirty handheld. Uh, 130th of a second uh, without a tripod uh, faster shutter speeds eliminate 
the uh, blurriness you get from handshake. So that's something to keep in mind, but in order to have a faster speed, you need a faster ISO. Um, also, uh, note that the slower your shutter speed, the objects in your scene must be s the more the less they are allowed to move uh, before it gets blurry. So, if you're exposing for an entire second, obviously uh, nothing can move. Otherwise, you'll see the, the lines of blurriness. Um, and of course, there's white balance, which you can set manually or um, have the camera do it. Um, you know, tungsten, fluorescent daylight. Some will actually let you just manually set the color temperature. Um, I generally leave the white balance automatic unless there is something... Unless I'm going for like a stylized approach or, um, or the camera's not detecting white correctly. Uh, if you can find an extremely white card, uh, a piece of paper that is like really, really white. And I mean like you, you'll see actually things you think are white aren't necessarily as white. But you can hold it in front of the camera and try to make that as white as you can um, by playing around if the camera isn't as a frame of reference so uh, but color balance is basically like a color shift you know it takes the value it sees and then it shifts that by a certain amount to make sure white is white <clears throat> that's why it's called white balance um, and then of course there's focus um, if I have my hand up here you can see I can focus in on my finger um, but the thing with cell phones is that you won't really uh, have a need unless you're taking close-up macro shots the physical distance uh, between the lens and the uh, shutter is is so or the uh, sensor is so small that uh, apart from things that are like 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 really small um, you're not going to have too much of a worry. Just leave it on infinity, you know, the farthest distance, or just automatic. Actually, if you want to do video, it's best to leave it on, uh, 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 to lock it down if you can, so that you don't try to have that auto adjust. Um, and of course, you have flash photography. Um, try to only you don't try to use flash to light the scene. Try to just use it like as a fill light if you can. Um, otherwise, you know, it, it just, you know, you don't need it on. Um, but that basically covers everything. So, you, you know, your shutter speed, your focus, your ISO, uh, your white balance, um, uh, your EV exposure compensation. So you can use that, uh, to darken or lighten the scene if you like. Uh, you don't really have to mess with it unless you really have to. I wouldn't, you know, you can play around and see what it does with your image. Other than that, trying to expose properly uh, for your scene, and you should be able to take better cell phone images rather than just leave it on auto. And of course, you have framing, you know, like the rule of thirds. Try not to make any one part of the image too complex. Try to space out. If you're going to have something on one side of your image be complex, try to put something on the other side, offset the balance, um, uh, basic uh, composure of the image. Um, but other than that, that's um, the basics of how to take a, a better image with your cell phone camera. I'm your host, Pop Shepard. Thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Enjoy.